No. All toners should come in spray bottles because I feel like when you have to do all of the it's just long pro collagen cream I've literally I'm literally gone through this so quickly yes I'm wearing a Dirac Bati underneath my abaya because honestly I just love how like I could just come on YouTube you know be myself you girls get me the girls that get it get it you know and I'm wearing my fluffy socks I don't know, I'm not I am not gonna show you guys my socks, but they're just so cute. It's in this in these and I've been wearing them all day. I got them yesterday and I need to get more. If you're if you're somebody who's so sensitive to cold weather, get fluffy socks. Like you heard it here first. You need fluffy socks. Just wear them all day. Sometimes like you can even sleep in them. They just keep you so warm and so cozy. And I feel like it's like you're walking around in bed, if that makes sense. Like you know how you want to get back into bed you're already in bed when you're wearing fluffy socks that's my that's my recommendation that's my tip for the girls let me know if it works for you so yeah now i'm gonna get dressed today we're gonna to be sewing i know i know i'm so excited i thought we'd have a cute cozy evening and i really want to sew this abaya however i have like three fabrics so i'm being super super optimistic and saying i can fit three i can sew three in one evening um can we do it we're gonna find out so um yeah first things first i'm gonna make myself a drink set the vibes i just really really could do with i saw this tutorial right now on tiktok of this matcha and it just looks so good and it made me want matcha so i'm gonna make some matcha and yeah let's do that first and then we're gonna get into it this is the matcha i've been using i don't know if it's good but uh it's yeah it's doing all right for me Barista seamstress. I'm not just saying that, but this is really good. Okay, let's get into it. I'm gonna start by showing you the fabrics that we're working with. So I did actually buy these quite a while ago. The first one is this really super, super light um, fabric. And it's like green, but when you come close to it, can you see that? I'm remembering the way that I had to haggle for this fabric. So I went to go buy it and first they were like, I think £12 a metre. And at that time I was just looking for fabrics to practice with. So I was like, I need something like maybe £4 a metre, £5 a metre max. So like I was set, like I was like, I wasn't that fast on this fabric. They were, and I was, they were like, I was like, no, no, no to them. I need something like four five pound a metre, like just to practice with. And they said, they, then they just started coming down, down, down. Eventually, they just gave it to me from £12 a metre. Actually, I think it was even more than that. I think it was like £15 a metre to... I think it might have been more than that. I think it was like £15 a metre. And they came all the way down to £5 a metre. So yeah, now we've got her now. A fabric number two. Is this low-key not kind of cute? Like, I just thought it was just so random. When I become a professional, so like... In the next hour when i become a professional um i'm gonna go for more colors and color palettes and fabrics that i wear on a regular basis so this fabric during the spring and it's is it low-key a vibe because i don't know what i was thinking like i was thinking spring floral a little bit of yellow but we're way kind of past that now so yeah i'm not sure I'm not sure if I even want to sew this right now. I think I might sew it just for fun. Let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm going to go on Netflix and I'm going to choose something to watch because I just like to be entertained. I like to be entertained and nothing which I have to read subtitles because ain't nobody got time for that. So let's see. 
let's see what Netflix. Let's see what Netflix is going to deliver to us today. So I'm watching. I'm watching Gossip Girls. Gossip Girls. Gossip Girls. Um, and the first step is to cut the fabric to the right shape. Cutting is my least favorite part. Least favorite part. But we but we gotta get to it. Okay, so I've lined it up and I'm going to cut all the way along the edges. The leaves are tiny bit short, so I hope that it doesn't cause me any problems. But I think it might just be the perfect length for what I want. Cat. 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 So... We already have a bit of a situation. In my last video, someone asked me what to do when you make mistakes. And I think you can honestly just apply this to life. Mistakes, they just help you learn, do better. Honestly, I think the best way to go about mistakes is not to get stressed out because there's nothing that you can do to undo it. And if there are things you can do, just start working on that. So um, I'm quite big on improvisation. So I'm gonna sew the rest of that by as normal. And then when I get to the sleeve, which is a little bit too short, too small, too teeny tiny, um, that's that's where I'm gonna kind of experiment and wing it. And if all else fails, it was a lesson. And the whole point of for me, the whole point of me doing this hobby is to just learn, keep improving, and also just to enjoy the process. Okay, so now it's time to iron. And then we're going to go to the new, we're going to get dressed, do a live, because we'll see it be so day. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go to the store. And we're going to, I wonder if I can vlog it. Like, mm. yeah, I'm close about it. Um, Done all the pinning, we're going to get into the sewing, which is honestly so therapeutic. Like, it's just so calming. Something about putting on a TV show, getting into it. If you're somebody that wants to start new hobbies or try new hobbies, I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend. I think I need to adjust the, what's it called? The, um, wow, I really need to dust the top of this sewing machine. Anyway. Um, or I need to use it more, one of the two. Okay, so I think I'm going to just adjust the tension a little bit, Let's see if that's better. Is that okay? Oh no! How the hell did that even happen? What am I going to do? How the hell do I even take this apart? Oh my gosh. So I think one of the skills that sewing is teaching me is just the power of patience, you know, like you can't you can't always control the outcome, you can just work with it. And that's in life guys, you can't always control the outcome of things that happen. You just need to be chill and you can only you can only control what's in you and how you react to things and situations. We made a little mistake, but it's okay because we're gonna get right back into it just it's october it's currently just the beginning of october right and i just feel like this season i don't know if it's going into fall but it almost feels like a new year before the new year i don't know if anybody else feels like that but um if you're somebody that wanted to start something in the new year honestly just start now because you're gonna thank yourself so much more okay we're gonna give this another go okay ah! and i just want to clarify that i am no means a professional i'm still kind of learning but it is fun to learn i feel like when you're learning something is the best thing Oh my gosh, it's still not aligned. What is happening here? I pinned it. If this happens one more time, if this happens one more time, that's it. I'm just gonna quit sewing, to be honest with you. You know what they say? They say in life, 
try and try again but honestly sometimes you just have to sometimes you just have to call it a day when i bought this abaya i did not buy a green thread which literally every single sewing project i've bought thread but i thought you know what let me go give it a go this is more so for my like this is more so just fun for me to be honest with you it's the last time i'm gonna do this and if it chooses to not act correct I hey so basically the plan is let me tell you what the plan is we're gonna be doing some gallivanting and we're gonna go to some cafes today little spot of cafe hopping my earrings they're so cute there's they're like this little bow i got them from asos so i'll leave the link i'll leave the link in the description are they not are they not so cute they're so adorable i should really get going and yeah definitely be sure to subscribe it's a little bit loud where i am but we're trying this place it's called morena and i heard they do a good matcha and i'm not gonna lie the match is actually quite nice but there's like helicopters but the helicopter's literally very right. Should we be looking out? Should we be the eyes on the ground? Should we be looking out for danger? Just going on a lovely little stroll. It's so crazy because it was a little bit chilly, but now the weather's super, super nice. And even the sun is shining. We went to a cafe, but when we got there, a wasp uh, kept landing on our, on our croissant. So we, ha we had to leave. It was just, it was just not the vibe. Let me see which way we're going. I think we're going this way. We're about to go to this shop here and um, it's supposed to be a really, really large bookshop. Um, so I'm quite excited. So that's what we're basically walking to now. It's supposed to be like one of the largest bookshops in London. I don't know if I just made that information up. I feel like I just made that information up. welcome back my name is Rahma and I just wanted to share some of my autumn favorites kind of like a collection of um things that I've kind of bought over the some things I bought some a few things are gifted over maybe like the past several months just share some things that i've been loving and also um maybe you guys will love too we're bringing back we're bringing back the hauls i'm i'm not quite sure why the girls actually stopped doing hauls because lately when i'm feeling that to shop i'm like what do i what do i even want like nobody's telling me what i want i'm a massive consumer in that if i see something i want it like i need it asap i don't know if anybody's the same special i think it's this kind of time of the year it just brings a different kind of amount of endorphins you know we love it so first things first i got some a few things from asos okay let's try a jacket it's so cute like i love a good jacket let me show you guys up properly shall i try it on i'm gonna try it on i need this in more colors because i know i'm gonna wear this so much oh, i'm gonna wear this later i'm gonna wear this later i need to not make any mess because Honestly, tomorrow I'm like decluttering my life and stuff, but I just, I don't want to add to it, okay? And then, honestly, I don't think I really got that much. Oh, I only got, I only got one other thing. Don't worry, there's other stuff that I got recently that I'll show you, but I feel like jackets are just so cute. And this is in a similar fit. Um, as you can see, the neck has this detailing, so it's not going to be like clump, clump, clumpy, clumpy. It's not going to like bunch up if you wear a hijab. And I, oh, it's just so cute. It's, a little bit oversized i'm gonna try this on too because i just want to i just need to see how it looks on <gasps> oh my goodness another one uh, guys let me know if you guys want more future hauls and stuff because um i really know that i can probably film these a lot better this is a spontaneous video because honestly i just i love the girls and i love the vlog and i love vlogging so I just really, really just, you know, I just love spontaneity videos. It's just you, it's just me, it's just us. But 
It's just not such a cute one for the girls. I actually love it with this eye shadow. Oh, by the way, the abaya that I'm wearing is from Nesfia. It's the stone abaya. Um, according to us, our, we are restocking soon. Um, but, and I'll let you guys know. And I think I'm going to actually let YouTube know first. So, yeah, tune in for the girls. I got a few bits from New Look. And this cardigan was one of them. It's just a basic navy cardigan, but I just feel like cardigans make such layering pieces and it's not super, super long. It's quite thick. It's quite thick and it's just so cozy. Like it's just... Okay, so um, this cardigan is also from New Look. <gasps> New Look have the cutest cardigans, guys. It's like cropped, it's so cosy, so comfortable and it has these really light kind of button, button coloured because sometimes you want cardigans with a different colour and sometimes you want it to be the same colour and it's just like very simple, very cute and very autumn vibes. The next item I got is, I saw all of the girlies hyping up this dress from Bish and i i feel like a black dress like this is just so staple in the winter look at the sleeves okay when you get to the bottom it has that same ruffle de detailing as you can see um it has these strings if you wish to tie in at the waist you know for the girls don't want to look snatched um if you want to look snatched because even if you're wearing it like underneath your jacket and you just want to you know and the most, the thing that I love most about this, I don't know what it is, but it has weight to it. It's a little bit heavy. Just, it's gonna keep you that much warmer. Like the fabric is quite, I don't know what it, the fabric's not super thick, like it's quite stretchy, but when you have the dress together as a whole, it's like, I wish, I wish I could put this in your arms so you can feel it has a little bit of a weight to it like it's very flattering very cozy warm and honestly i'm probably gonna get it this is the black um, i really want maybe to get the cream okay honorary mention guys i've been obsessed with lush sticky dates and let the good times roll these are in a spray bottle because they're not perfumes they're body sprays and they're so nice especially when you're out they if if you wear these these are gonna last the whole day sometimes even the next day but on the topic of lush sticky I, I guys i got obsessed with sticky dates and by the way guys not me like trying to sell you anything honestly if you take like one recommendations or if you're looking to try new things that's the vibe of this video okay this is not oh my god you really need this product because you don't you don't need anything okay uh, honestly uh, you really don't need anything but if you just want to try something new um this is more like self-care sticky dates oh, i got the body the body wash and I got the cream. I ran out of the cream though. And then the super milk. It's like a hair moisturizer. It's a spray. And honestly, it smells really, really good. It's really good for reviving your curls. Like on a day to day, if you want to and then put product in, mm, top 10. Okay, so now a cup of coffee. This is another acquired one. If you like coffee, you'll like it. It's a body scrub. It looks like this. And it's like a really nice coffee scrub. It smells like a, you know, that you wake up in the morning you have black coffee but it's that but for your skin if you want to try it you want to try it um and then this i they have a bunch of curly hair products maybe i'll make an evening video and talk about them more because i've really been loving them um lush they have a curly hair range if you don't know you now you know i didn't know until i went into the shop and i inquired and they're very honestly they're so good and let me know if you guys want more hair care stuff yeah quick one makeup Huda Beauty, the Easy Blast, the foundation that I've been wearing on a day to day. This is my second one. This has been my main go to lipstick for like the past two years. It's the NARS Super Matte in the sh shade Start Me Up. I might have spoken about it before because I literally wear this 99% of the time. Um, but recently I've been layering it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is like a matte. It, I really like this. It's their matte, their velvet lip creams. I just love the consistency. I'm wearing that now in the middle and I like it a lot. And yeah, honestly, and this lip gloss, I discovered this lip gloss recently. It's the Huda Beauty. And someone asked me what I was wearing on my lips in the last video. It was this, or in a few videos ago. Speaking on lip gloss, lip, 
you can see she's getting flat. This is the Notorium Phyto Glow Lip Balm. This is the shade Latte. And yeah, I like that too. So yeah, guys, those are, have been some of my favorites and a little haul. Hey vlog, it's a Friday, it's the weekend and we're stepping out. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit in a minute, but I'm loving vlogging again, which means where I go, my vlog goes, it's a Friday. I'm going out for a cheeky little dessert, maybe dinner. <laughs> right so yeah i'm about to head out i just want to have a really peaceful day like sometimes you just need to pause and have a peaceful day whatever we're not going to get into it so um yesterday yesterday when i went out right yesterday when i went out i went past this shop and it smelled so good from the outside and they had like so much different assortments of nuts guys i did not buy one i bought like six different kinds of nuts tell me why am i even gonna eat that much no i'm not because like when i say it's an impossible amount this is an impossible amount for a human being to consume okay, so the first one is the one that i've been eating my way through this morning it's it's like a this well so guys I don't know what I don't know what the other girls are doing, but welcome to my haul of the first and only hot nuts from Kofali. So this is the first one. It's like a walnut, but it's like sugar coated, honey sugar coated coated stuff. It has like a bur burnt taste. I haven't tried the others, so I couldn't tell you what's in these bags. But okay. the next one we're going to try is oh yeah, I also want to try this like. Kiwi, I think it's like a Turkish thing and it's like a kiwi and like a dried kiwi and it tastes like a nana, like it actually tastes like a nana. That's alright, it's nice. It's a fat bag. Next, I got these and these are honey roasted, what is this, a cashew? The bag that I want to open is actually the pistachio because I really like cold pistachios. Yummy! So yeah, I'm going to take some of these in my bag with me so I can snack on them. They're not so cute. I get it now. I get why there were so many people in the shop. So guys, I'm exploring Spitfield's market for the first time and I can't believe I haven't been here before because it's so cute. Um, I'm currently looking for my friend. I don't know exactly where she is but I hope I find her soon. So basically, I have a Fuji film camera. Hi, um, I have a Fuji film camera, digital camera, yeah. but I don't have a charger for it. Do you sell any chargers? That's perfectly fine. If you give me a look, I can just give you a universal charger. Here, and I'll show you how to use oh, that. Oh, okay, perfect. How much is a universal charger? Oh, five. Perfect. Not even a lovely prices. What's the name of your shop? Silver Screens. Silver Screens. So basically, I'm at. The shop is called Silver Screens and they have all these digital cameras. Is this side silver screens as well? Yes, yes, yes. Wow, so there's two sides. Wow. Here that if you put in the battery in here, yeah. 
That it's not going to stay in place because it's a bit small. Yeah. No issue. It's just bit, any card, a bit of like folded up newspaper, anything. Yeah. Just wedge it in and it'll keep it in place. Okay. So that's wow, just that's some of the so Fuji films cool. are a bit small. Okay, thank you so much. It's amazing. No thank you so much. Oh, this is such a nice it's such a cute house. Oh, is it? I can't believe we've never been here. Yeah, I have when I was a kid, but it didn't look like this. Oh, it didn't smell like they, fish. they updated they it. Just, they just they gentrified it. Yeah. and I'm trying the maple matcha that's so my review on the matcha I haven't finished it I'm not gonna I don't know if I'm gonna finish it because I probably am gonna finish it but um it's pretty a bit sweet for me I love matcha uh, it's really nice I'll be honest it's really nice but I wouldn't get it again because I don't really like my matcha to be that sweet but I like it it's nice muy bien muy bien and I'm not gonna lie, a Somali girl made this, that's why the drink is this nice. Whenever you see a Somali girl, like a barista, you just know there's some kind of code there, that the vibes, the vibes are up here, okay. I've, like, just so, just so welcoming, you know, it's just, yeah, if you know, you know, it's like, sister Nemo wholesome, you know, whenever I, whenever I walk into a coffee shop, or like, a matcha shop and I see a Somalica I just know the drink is gonna be good the vibes are gonna be good you know that's my sister that's my sister okay but I'm actually procrastinating now so first things first I'm gonna do a bit of a declutter there's so much stuff on my desk right now I'm actually very tempted to just get into bed and sleep and reset my day tomorrow morning because the vibes are giving cozy like get into my bed watch a little bit of Netflix and honestly I have a very busy week I got a very busy week next week I got put so yeah, actually, sorry guys, change of plans. We're not doing a self-care day. We're gonna, who the hell does a self-care reset on a Saturday? That's what I'm gonna tell you. I'm doing it tomorrow. We're gonna re-intervene this vlog tomorrow. That's what I thought it was. I thought today was gonna be the day for a nice chill reset. It's not, I'm sorry. That's, that has to happen tomorrow, Sunday morning. So, yeah, I'm gonna get unready. I'm gonna get into bed and we're gonna re-intervene this vlog tomorrow. <laughs> 